Believe the Father loves us as he loves Jesus. John 17, 23 and 26. I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one, that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. And I am declared to them your name and will declare it, that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. As we are considering the keys to do the works that Jesus did and even greater works, we have traced through the 14th chapter of John, looking at the various statements Jesus made right after that pronouncement in John 14, 12. And we've tried to understand all of those statements he made as keys that will help us move and unlock uh, doing the works he did in greater works. One of the things that Jesus stated was about understanding our union with him, that we are in him, he is in us. One of the very important aspects of our union with him is this. Because we are in him, uh, because we belong to him, Jesus said, as, we, as he mentioned here in John 17, 23 and 26, the Father loves us as much as he loves Jesus. Now this is hard for us to grasp, for our minds to wrap around, because to think that we have equal standing with Jesus before the Father is something hard for us to fathom. But that is what Jesus is saying. He's saying we are equally loved by the Father. We are loved by the Father the way the Father loves Jesus. There is no difference in that love. He says that you have loved them as you have loved me. And he says, this love with which you have loved me, I want it to be in them and I in them. That means I want them to be filled with the knowledge of the Father's love. That the Father loves you, the Father loves me the way he loves Jesus. And that is amazing. That is something way beyond our ability to grasp. And so we need to come to that place of understanding that, you know, the Father loves me as he loves Jesus. And if he would work through Jesus during his earthly life and ministry in such a manner, if he would reveal things to Jesus because of his love, similarly, he would do the same thing in me and through me because he loves me the way he loves Jesus. And we need to move with that confidence. The Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear. So when you are moving out to minister to people, because you know the Father's love for you, the Father loves you the way he loved Jesus, and you're resting in that love, it removes all fear. You don't, you're not afraid of ministering to people. You're not afraid of laying hands on people, because inside you, the Father's love fills you. That's what Jesus prayed. He said, I want them to know that you love them as you love me. I want this love to be in them. So they move in that love. And we move out of the love of God, we move out of love for people, loving them with the love of God. We move knowing that the Father loves us as he loved Jesus. And as we move in the love of God, the works of God takes place through our lives. Know that you are loved by the Father, the way he loves Jesus. Know that same love in you and let that same love be expressed through you. That you love people. And it's possible because you are in Him and He is in you. Let Him love people through you. And out of that love that you are resting in, and out of that love that you are flowing in, the works of God will take place through you and me. Know, believe, the Father loves you just as He loved His Son, Jesus Christ. Move in that love and the works of God will take place. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you have unlocked for us the keys. You have revealed to us the keys to doing the works of Jesus and even greater works. So Heavenly Father, we pray that each of us as believers will see mighty things take place through our lives. We give you the praise, the glory, the honor for all of it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.